Hey there, I'm Moriarty, this is Unabridged, and today is a very special video because this kicks off the beginning of October. The reason October is so special this year is one, Halloween, always, but two, I have decided to do a complete series reread for Bonicula by James and Debbie Howe and I kind of want to do a little video about like why I like Bonicula, why I chose to do a reread of seven novels from my literal childhood and so yeah let's get into it. So we are going to read all seven Bonicula novels. Bonicula is kind of special to me. It's one of my favorite childhood book series. Um, I reread pretty recently. I think the last time I reread was seven or eight years ago, right around the time I met my fiance. Um, and I wanted to share my love of the series with him. So we read, I believe, like the first two books together. So when I was at Half Price Books two, three years ago, I realized that I had never actually finished the series because two of the novels had come out after I had started um, fifth, sixth grade. So I was like, what better way to finish out the series, enjoy spooky time, all of that good jazz, than to do a reread? If you don't know what Bonicula is, Bonicula is a children's book series about a vampire rabbit named Bonicula. He is named after Dracula because the, the Monroe family go to see Bonicula in theaters and in their seats is a small shoebox with a rabbit, a white rabbit with a black top coat. It makes it look like he's wearing a little cape. And they find him in Dracula and there's a note inside that says to please take care of her baby. So they do and they name him Bonicula after Dracula. But Bonicula is an interesting case. Bonicula is a vampire rabbit. He sucks the juices out of uh, vegetables to stay alive and powerful instead of sucking the blood out of human beings. And if they are not careful the vegetables will continue to wither until they become zombified. So our heroes, Bonicula, Chester the cat, and Harold the dog, have to save humanity from zombie-esque vegetables, is the general gist of the book series. <laughs> uh, I love the book series so much that I went and got a tattoo for it. Um, it is a skull of a rabbit with ears, because otherwise you kind of don't know it's a rabbit. And then it has a saying wrapped around its mouth, and it says, Today vegetables, tomorrow the world, which is a saying from the book series. So you could say I'm a bit of a fan. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go through and read it. There are seven novels in this series. All the pages together make about 991 pages for reading. Um, they were all published at different times. So the original Bonicula, A Rabbit Tale of Mystery was published in 1979. Holiday Inn was published in 1982. Celery Stalks at Midnight was published in 1983. Nighty Nightmare was published in 1997. Return to Holiday Inn was published in 2000. Bonicula Strikes Again was published in 2001. And Bonicula Meets Edgar Allan Crowe was published in 2006. So those are the books that we're going to be reading for October. I would love if you would join me on our on our reread and just hang out because it's going to be a super fun time. I've got to go ahead and get to work because today is already the 2nd of October, so I'm a little bit behind. But I will be doing um, re uh, reading sprints 
and also reviews of each book that I finish. I plan on doing them every Friday of the month so we can get through them. The, um, so next Friday will be the reviews for books one and two, the Friday after, three and four, and the Friday after that, five, six, and seven. Um, these are not the only books that I am planning on reading this month, so stay tuned for some spooky recommendations and some books for fall coming your way, because I also have, also have plans for that. And thank you so much for listening to me. I'm Moriarty, this is Unabridged, and I hope you're ready for a spooktastic time. See you next time.